Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how to return Kindle books on Amazon for a refund. If you find this helpful, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So let's get started. What we're going to do first is come across to our Amazon account. And if you're not already, you just want to go ahead and log in. So from here, what you're going to want to do is actually come to this um, box up here, which has got your name. And when you hover over, it's going to bring up a drop down box. And then what you want to do is click onto your orders. And this is going to take you through to your orders page. So what's going to happen, any uh, book purchases that you've made, you'll see in here. So you can see I've got this one, which I've done as an example. Order was placed uh, 24th of September, which is actually today. And with Kindle Books, basically you get like a seven day period where you can return the book if you want to. Just bear in mind after the seven days so that you won't be able to get a refund. So you'd either have to delete it if you didn't like it or keep it. Um, I'm not actually sure how many times you can do this. I'm not sure if you can sort of do it back to back and if Amazon's going to stop you doing that. Um, but yeah, basically what you need to do is come across to this page and locate the book that you want to return for a refund. And then if you look to the right of the order, you'll see in the middle there's a box there which says return for refund. Just go ahead and give that a click. And it may ask you to enter your password. And what's going to happen, it's going to ask you for a quick response. So a uh, bit of feedback really for why you don't like the book. So you just can choose any of these. If you don't know what to put, then just literally just choose the bottom option which says other. And once that's done, if you just go ahead and click the submit button to the right. And after a second or two, it's going to come up with a confirmation. So it says your item has been successfully returned. The item will be removed from your library once the refund is processed. Um, so what they're going to do is refunds to your source of payment. So if you pay by a debit card, they will refund the money to that debit card. You can't choose how to get a refund. And it takes a couple of days, normally about three to five days for that to go through. And once that's been processed, what's going to happen is they're going to take that from your Kindle library. So that's how you do it. And I hope you did find that helpful. If it did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.